The holidays can be such an exciting time for many, but for those without a home or family and friends, it can be quite lonely. I caught up with Penny Kivit, the executive director of the City Rescue Mission, and she tells me a little bit about what they're doing to help spread warmth and love to the less fortunate in our community and how you can help. Nothing better than to try to walk down a hallway at City Rescue Mission and kind of weave your way through this maze of 4,000, 5,000 beautiful boxes that have goodies inside for our homeless friends and wrapped in a gorgeous Christmas blanket so that they can have a little bit of warmth along with a whole lot of uh, goodies. Now, when we say goodies, that could mean a lot of different things. What is actually in the box? Well, Brooks, do I have a treat for you? Uh, and look at that big white bow. I want to open and see what's inside of this so badly. Uh, so what can go in it? We want toiletries. We want uh, some small gift of some kind. Uh, I don't know if you can see behind me, but some pieces of candy so that uh, they have a little bit of that peppermint and cinnamon that comes uh, with the holidays because they're not gonna get it any other way. Um, a little pair of earrings for the ladies and, and perhaps a new pair of socks for the men, um, but just little things that a, will fulfill a need that they have, toothbrush, toothpaste, soap, washcloth, those are the needs, but also have a little bit of Christmas cheer and love inside. And uh, what we want to do is provide them a little bit of what Christmas is all about, and that's giving. And we do that through the community, through these shoe boxes of love, and what fun it is to watch the tears, the joy, uh, that come about as a result of knowing that somebody cared enough to give people a nice little gift on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. We do it both days. And where can people drop these things off? Because I believe that people are already about to get up, head to the store, go pick up the things they need so that they can be a blessing to others this, this holiday season. Gosh, I sure hope so. Uh, and they can be dropped off at uh, 426 South McDuff, which is our headquarters for City Rescue Mission. Uh, it is where our drug and alcohol recovery program resides, and they can do that outside. Uh, we know that people are a little, still a little skittish with COVID, and so we have people that are ready to uh, put their hands out and take that beautiful box inside, and uh, we, we want to make it as easy for our folks in Jacksonville to not only put together a box, but to deliver a box to 426 South McDuff Avenue. And you know what? The best part, Brooks, if they put a little personal note inside to a homeless friend and just say that they are thinking about them and that they're wishing them a very Merry Christmas, that would be the most special gift that could be given this Christmas season. Be sure to catch this segment a little later on today on our website, firstcoastliving.net.